Let me get to uh, the question of the investigations and investigating the investigators. So another presidential tweet that made a lot of news, and we can just put it up on the screen, talking about the origins of the Russian investigation. My campaign for president, says Donald Trump, was conclusively spied on. Nothing like this has ever happened in American politics. A really bad situation. Treason means long jail sentences, and this was treason. Well, leaving aside the treason can also mean the death penalty. Um, many in the media are saying this is way out of bounds for a president to be accusing law enforcement, not just of an attempted coup, but of the crime of treason. Well, President Trump was falsely accused of treason for years uh, because he was accused of being a traitor who had colluded with the Russians to overthrow our system of government and to steal an election. I don't think the media have handled or responded properly enough to the realization that that was a false accusation. Treason is a very serious allegation. It was levied against the president for years, falsely. He did not collude with Russia. And now we have, now we really do need to understand, how was it that this crazy idea didn't just get into the government, but got believed by so many people in the right, media? Right, right. But the point here, Beverly, is that uh, uh, if it is true, actually, let me throw this to you, Juan. So people like CNN's Jeff Tubin going on the air and saying this is a grotesque abuse of power, but then saying, well, a lot of people are just going to say it's just another Trump tweet. Nobody has been charged with this crime of treason. So you can say it, I can say it, uh, politicians can say it, but the President of the United States uh, to be accusing his political opponents of treason is a pretty amazing thing. To me, it's pretty amazing because, you know, he's... He's the commander in chief, not just the military, but even of our law enforcement. He's everybody. So was the media criticism justified of that term? It goes well, it just, coup. you know what, I, because what you said uh, is true. People, you know, and I think part of the president's attractiveness is his authenticity, that this is really what his heart feels, right. what he feels like he's someone who's being he's put upon. He's not holding back. Right, but just... I do think that he is the president, and this is not very presidential. Let me get to this with you, Beverly. New York Times reporting that House Democrats are having a difficult time getting uh, Bob Mueller to uh, testify and it would deprive them, of course, of a, a televised spectacle. So there's a quote in this Times story. It says, Democrats' big fear is that public interest in the Mueller report is ebbing. I would just cross out the first word and say this is also true. The media's big fear is that public interest in the Mueller report is ebbing. I think we saw some political theater at its finest on Thursday. You had the House Democrats actually hold a hearing or at least an event where they read for 12 hours the unredacted version of the Mueller report. With help from? We, John Cusack, the actor. So it was it was an interesting spectacle. I think what we're seeing, especially with an additional investigation into the origins of the Mueller investigation, you see that they're still trying to get that media coverage to maybe get their story in the news. Right.